everybody. I am here with a review for Lemon Wigs, which is a company I've not reviewed for before. Um, they seem fairly similar to the other brands that I have reviewed. Um, um, I got them off of Amazon and I will link to everything in the description. Now I chose a different color. They had, um, they, they seemed to go more towards the natural colors. So I actually got this this brownish blonde color um, because I didn't want to go for another black and I didn't want to go for um, like a, I don't know, like a brown, mousy brown color. And this one looked like a good combination of uh, like natural but light enough that after I review it, when I get some more dye, I can actually try to dye this like I dyed my other wig, and it's a great testament to how, what good quality the wig is if it can hold up to dyeing, and my other one surprised me and, and did hold up pretty well, so I would really like to see how this one does. On the outset though, coming right out of the box, it is actually quite pretty. This is the scalp. I really love the way the brown fades into the blonde. Um, to me, it looks very realistic. And this is the cap. It's got the lace cap. And it does not have any combs on the inside. So we'll see how tight this one is because it does not come with combs. But yeah, um, it feels very soft. And as much as I flip it around, it is not getting tangled. I can still run my fingers through it with one hand surprisingly well. That's not a tangle, so I can still run my hands through it even though I've flipped and flopped it everywhere. And um, yeah, it's just uh, nice, soft, realistic, and it feels thick enough. It doesn't feel very thin or cheap. So let's give this a try on and see how it looks. All right, this is a quick before. So this is what I look like with no wig on and no makeup on, and I will be back with the after. This is what it looks like first putting it on before cutting it. These bangs are so thick. Um, I've been having trouble trying to find out where the part is so that I can part it and see what I'm working with. Um, I have it on the loosest setting the loosest thing and uh, it feels snug not overly tight but it feels like it's not gonna fly off easily which is a great feeling since there are no clips to it um, so if you if I wanted a tighter fit I would just put it on a, a smaller hook um, but this is a it's actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be um, but these bangs look very realistic from what I can see. I am struggling to see where the part is on them, but it seems like you can part it in any direction, and I just need to figure out the best way for me to style this quickly, and then I will straighten it and be back, but I'm quite impressed with the bangs, especially because I don't think this is a lace run. It's not a lace run. I didn't have to cut anything off of it. Um, but it's, I mean, they, they always give you longer bangs so that you can cut in style, but, uh, these bangs are, are full. They're beautiful. I really love them. Now it's just a matter of styling them. <laughs> All right. This is one side after I've straightened it. It has maintained some of the bounce. Um, it actually has really nice volume to it when you put it on and once I can see bangs are cut and this is a side before it is straightened so a lot of people would really like this look this actually looks really good with this wig but I I prefer the straighter hair so I did straighten it all right here's the reveal this is what the wig looks like I had a dumb idea of wanting to do a more natural old school look with this wig because this wig is a more natural look um, so I have on like this cool 50s looking long dress 
this was my attempt at doing more natural-ish makeup without all my heavy and I am not very good at it and I really don't like the way this look looks on me which is why I always have very very heavy makeup I think this makes me look really washed out and just dead kind of but not in the fun way just very underwhelming and boring I guess but we're here to talk about the wig and not my makeup so this is the wig now I will say this wig was very hard to straighten as you can see it still has retained some of the wave um, I think that's a good thing because it shows that the curls aren't going to just fall out as soon as you put the wig on one time the curls are going to actually stay there if you if you want them um, I did not brush the wig out because I cannot find my brush I only straightened it cut the bangs and put it on um, I'm not great at styling wigs or anything and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this wig will dye although if I ever needed normal hair color for any reason I would I would wear this but at this stage I couldn't hide my tattoos anyway so there's no need for me to attempt to look normal because I know I never could um, so dying I will do and I will check back in when I have done that it feels like this wig would hold up quite well it it feels like real hair uh, this is a synthetic wig that could actually pass for real hair and the price was really good on this too this was pretty cheap um, I'm not sure the different prices will show up in different countries so I will link to the description of this item and you can also see the other colors that they have but um, yeah it the cap is very well made um, you saw what I went through with the bangs uh, if you look and look it, it is quite hard to locate the cap which is great but yeah I could see this looking extremely natural very realistic and um, quite believable this color right here um, about this color right here not as dark as this but not as light as this so around here that's actually my real color my natural hair color um, so it's interesting to see me with a more natural shade I haven't had a natural looking shade since I bleached my hair in New Zealand and at that time funny enough I really loved it probably because I had my normal makeup on um, I'm actually gonna pause real quick and put my normal makeup on because I do have another wig I'm gonna review and I'm gonna wear you know my heavy makeup for that so let's see what it looks like with my makeup on and see if I feel any more like myself I will be right back all right here I am with my normal makeup on not a huge difference um, I changed my contacts up and I darkened my makeup put some more black and did my thing and I'm much happier I can see the wig more for how I guess it would look on me as opposed to someone that looks like me, if that makes sense. And look at my baby. It's Amara. Amara's chilling. She's so sweet. Look at the cute kitty. She's such a good girl. All right. But yeah, um, so I teased up the wig a little bit. Uh, it was actually quite hard to tease because it's so sleek. It didn't want to hold any tangles or knots. So I guess that's a good thing. But I, I was able to tease it up just a little bit and get it a little fuller looking. Um, not that it wasn't full looking before, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like now. And I'm quite happy with the way it looks now. Um, I think it looks really good, especially with my normal makeup on. So I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? Is it weird seeing me with this color hair? It probably is. Um, but yeah, I will check in whenever I dye it. I'm not sure when that's going to be or what color I'm going to dye it. Uh, but it might be blue, it might be green, it might be red. I won't go purple because I don't like purple. Uh, I feel like this wig would hold up pretty well. I might do some photos in it like this first before I dye it um, because I'm quite liking the look now that I have my own you know my own makeup on with it and my own style of clothes uh, but yeah um, quite impressed 
especially for the price point. Really like it. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys soon.